His need to rally the world community clear with his presence. For the first time, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky addressing the United Nations General Assembly in person and in English. In an attempt to send a clear picture of the horrors of war, Zelensky detailing the plight of tens of thousands of Ukrainian children, he says Russian forces have kidnapped and sent to Russia. They are trying to get children back home, but time, time goes by. What will happen with them? What will happen to them? Those children in Russia are taught to hate Ukraine, and all ties with their families are broken. And this is clearly a genocide. U.S. President Joe Biden clearly wanted to send the same message. Russia alone bears responsibility for this war. Russia alone has the power to end this war immediately. And it's Russia alone that stands in the way of peace because the Russia's price for peace is Ukraine's capitulation, Ukraine's territory, and Ukraine's children. But on the sidelines, there is talk that it may be time for peace, that Vladimir Putin could be persuaded to make a deal. Chatter Zelensky pointedly rejected. He says Putin is untrustworthy, pointing out the fate of a one-time Putin ally who seemed to cross him and died in a plane explosion. I am aware of the attempts to make some shady dealings behind the scenes. Evil cannot be trusted. Ask Prigozhin. Ukraine's expected to take center stage again here on Wednesday as the UN Security Council meets to talk about the war. And we expect that President Zelensky and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov will be in the same room for the first time since the war started.